ladies and gentlemen, a shower a big block power is about to send a shockwave down the Jersey Turnpike. It's the power in the pines, and we are green at New Egypt. In the one and two, it's Tanner Van Doren grabbing the early lead over Peter Britton and Darren Smith as they move down the back. Smith challenging Britton, but it's Tanner Van Doren opening up four car lengths on the field. He will lead lap number one. Side by side battle for the number two spot as Darren Smith and Peter Britton go wheel to wheel and Smith holding on to the position off turn number two as they head down the back straight away. Britton has done just about any everything he could so far to try to get by the number 12 car, but Smith holding strong. Again, Smith's best finish was in the state of New Jersey a year ago when he finished in that number five spot at Bridgeport. He's holding on right now, but Yellow is out on the speedway. Yellow coming out as we got a car up against the wall. Coming down the front stretch, that is the FX Caprera Honda, car number 99L of Lightning Larry White. They go to the VP making power point. Green flag is back out on the speedway. On the restart through one and two, Van Doren very smooth through there in his first time here, and he brings them down the back stretch and into turn number three. Peter Britton now on the bottom of Darren Smith, side by side, but Smith again holds him off and shoots back by him. Keep an eye on the battle for the number five spot. Alex Payne working the top side, trying to get by Anthony Perego down the back straightaway, but he opens the door for the Ringo's rocket on the inside. Go down still lurks one spot out of a top five run as they come down the front straightaway. That time Shepard had a good run on Britain as they go up into turn number one and two. Can he make it stick? He'll try to keep his momentum rolling off the corner, but they're side by side. Britain still pulling out ahead. Britain trying to fend off the challenge. Shepard has found something. He was searching on the outside, and we have a yellow. Yellow, flag. yellow flags are on. Now the lights come on. We got a car slow on the inside of turn number two, and I think that's Johnny Bangs in the 323. What a shame. Green flag back out on the speedway. Matt Shepard going to swing to the inside as Smith trying to pinch the 21 into the bottom. Not able to do it. Keep an eye on Smith as he looks for the race lead down the back straightaway. They were three wide for the second spot. Now they're trying to go three wide for third, but here's Darren Smith. Smith up on the outside off of turn four, high wide and handsome, and Darren Smith is the new race leader. Darren Smith taking the race lead away the second time he has led laps in Super Nerd Car Series competition, but Yellow comes out onto the speedway, and he's not the only driver as we got a car into the inside wall. That is Danny Creighton. Green flag back out onto the speedway once again. Darren Smith sliding up into the leads, and Peter Britton goes with him, and Britton to second spot now as they move down the back. Darren Smith making that choice pay off. He must have known something down there. Got a good bite, and he has the lead. He will lead lap number 38 over Peter Britton, Tanner Van Doren, side by side with Anthony Perego. Perego side by side with Van Doren as they go down the back straight away. He'll take that position away. Perego now up to the number three spot. That'll move Van Doren back to fourth. Matt Shepard rounds out the top five. Take a look on the top side, however. Shepard gonna go to the inside. He'll get by the 10C. And I think something's wrong on the 10C of Van Doren. He slows going into turn number one and two. Oh, what a heartbreak for the driver out of Schnecksville, Pennsylvania as yellow comes out on the speedway in the 10C. We'll see if Britain's got anything for Darren Smith as we go back to green flag racing, 43 on the board. As they go down to turn number one and two, Smith shoots across the 21 A's nose. Britain gonna take the lead down the back straightaway. Britain with a great move going outside to inside and crossing him over, but Darren Smith is not done. He sets it on the cushion. He's got the lead by half a wheel at the start-finish line. Darren Smith gonna get the lead right back. Talk about doing a great job in the face of adversity. Darren Smith goes back to the number one spot as he'll bring up through turn number three and four, this time by 30 laps to go for the driver of the Jeremy Smith Racing number 12. 
Perego setting it up by the fence. He gets a run, and he beats Britton to the line. Anthony Perego is moving to the second spot. Perego right there, but here comes Britton right back on the inside, trying to keep his momentum rolling. Won't be able to do it that time, though, as they go into turn number three and four. And now the four-star of Anthony Perego has moved into the number two spot, and he is on Darren Smith, sent like a bounty hunter, going into turn number one and two. Here's Perego all over the back bumper of the 12th car. The problem is Daniel Johnson has kept it on the bottom two to go this time by Perego slides in front of Smith and takes the lead away Perego up on the top side here's the 12 back on the bottom they're wheel to wheel down the back straight away Perego trying to keep his momentum there as they go down into turn number three and four wheel to wheel as they go down through the corner white flag gonna come out on the speedway Perego slides in front as they come down the front stretch. Darren Smith trying to hold on. Perego still right there with Daniel Johnson in heavy lap traffic. Perego trying to pull away. He gets about four car lights on him down the back stretch. Final time down into turn number three and four. He'll make his way through the corner. Smith, one last gas. They drag race to the line. Anthony Perego wins power in the pines. Up out of the car, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Power in the Pines at New Egypt Speedway, the driver of the four-star, Anthony Perego. Yeah, I think uh, that uh, when we got put back to fourth there, when I got by Shepard, uh, that kind of sealed the deal for us. Uh, you know, Matt got a really good run off of two, and I'm like, man, if I can uh, do what he just did right there, maybe we can sneak by Peter. But uh, that 12 was really good. Uh, Darren was fast uh, all night long, but, uh, you know, that lap car is kind of, he changed his lane and uh, we were able to search and uh, you know the slower it got the um, better we were. Yeah I definitely found uh, a little something off of two there. Uh, that top started to go away. I mean it obviously got me in a second but it started to go away there and uh, you know uh, the last race I won here uh, was kind of the same deal. Um, got in lap traffic and we just had the better car. Yeah definitely you know uh, last year was kind of a disappointment for all of us but uh, you know we came out swinging at the end of the year. Uh, we got all our stuff back together and uh, can't thank Vinny enough. Uh, Kaiser, Penske, uh, Bicknell. Tire discount, uh, he helps us out a whole bunch. And uh, just everybody at home watching, hi, and uh, see you soon.